Hey YouTube, it's Michelle, and this is Traveler's Notebook number two, Design Team Project for Creations by Jinx. And this little beauty I'm calling Yarrow. And for those of you who want to know what Yarrow is, I actually went out to the alley and cut off a snip. And the only reason I know this is Yarrow is because when I was in Girl Scouting, we used to dry flowers. And so this is kind of a weedy flower that grows mostly in the mountains of Denver, but I have a bush in the alley. <laughs> so now all the bugs are coming off, so I think I'm gonna move the yarrow so that I can show you the Traveler's Notebook without wigging out here. So I'm gonna move it over here. And for any of those of you who want to know, uh, yarrow is a chilia, millefolium. So it's A-C-H-I-L-L-E-A-M-I-L-L-E-F-O-L-I-U-M, which is yarrow. There we go. So let me show you yarrow. And again, um, the idea behind these traveler's notebooks slash um, inserts is that uh, when I got my design team package from uh, Jennifer, there was so much ephemera and laces and doodads that I sorted um, all of my goodies by color and then decided to use uh, each bag of the colored uh, goodies to create a traveler's notebook insert. So there you go, that's the history. So this is the yellow slash gold traveler's notebook. And the front cover features a poem. All of the uh, TNs have a poem about the color that they represent. And there is at the top here, a little lace collage that I fashioned with some crochet trim, with some of the same lace that I used uh, to put on the spine, as well as some gold colored seam binding and I Topped it off with one of my newly rusted pins and two bells. So there we go. So let's go to the inside. Again, eight and a quarter by four and a half. Each insert, uh, the cover opens and the goodies are tied with a an organza ribbon. So on the inside cover here, I have a baggie with a gold stripe, and then I've got some ephemera sheets in there little bit of lace trim embellishment and a sticker that says believe in yourself when you open up the signature here the outside is a yellow doily got that from Diana Kelly and Happy Mail thank you so much Diana here's a little collage that I made it's got a little fox isn't that fox cute this was cut out of a magazine um, Victoria trading and it's so funny because whenever I see this image I think of their two crafters that come to mind immediately Tracy Fox and the Debras it's Debraska Fox and um, she is actually a crafter in Denver and I haven't gotten to meet her but looking forward to hopefully meeting her next month so I think of the two of you when I see any fox images um, this is some handmade paper that's got some yellow flower petals in it. This next page here, uh, the lemonade ad as well as the um, wooden bird down here, which is a button. Um, I got those from Jennifer and then the flower was from my stash. And then I just topped the, uh, I made a pocket out of the ad and put in a craft tag. It's topped with some more yellow organza ribbon. We've got a journaling card. We've got some paper from the Dollar Tree. A piece of gold vellum. More of that Dollar Tree paper. And you can see, uh, similar to Envy, um, the pages that are plain have been distressed and stenciled with various shades of distress ink in the appropriate color so this has some lemonade and some mustard etc etc so this was a sheet that it was a page that um, Jennifer had given me from the shop as well as the lace 
around the corner so it's been just decked out and I made a pocket out of it and just put a journaling card from Yvonne Preston and we've got some paper here that's handmade paper here is a, a baggie that I received in happy mail from Manuela Ott Manuela is bunny bow on the YT thank you so much she stamped and colored and blinged out that envelope and when I saw it the yellow I just had to include it and there's just a ephemera tag there it's a baggie here and inside of there is just a journaling card more this one here more journaling spots here's some design paper and then when you open it up I flipped it up and made a pocket out of this side some journaling cards there this paper here is from the flow paper book paper lovers book got some coffee dyed paper and then the center piece is a piece of design paper that's just been folded in half and on the outside here's a glassine bag and there's some trim from the shop I think or that may be stash trim and then I had this little sticker look at that baby and I don't even remember what the artist's name is who did vegetables and flowers with these babies. But this little baby, this little brown baby, is the um, inside uh, stamen of a calla lily. And she's got on a little yellow head wrap, so I thought she would look cute in here. Got some journaling spots there. And you open it up to this page. And although there's pink behind, I just love those gold flowers. And just a little pocketbook embellishment that was in yellow. Here, going on this side, the other side. Here's that other side of that flow paper. And there's the yellow. Got one of my tattered floral gold paper clips in here. And it's holding a journaling card. And there's some more journaling cards there. This just attaches like that. other side of that bag here are two butterflies which have been cut out of paint chip paint whatever those are called paint chips what do you call those things anyway we had tons of those here it was architect's office so I got tons of them so I cut butterflies out so there's that and then there's a journaling card inside and then this was a lovely piece of fabric that Jennifer had included this time and it's yellows and oranges and so I made a tippin out of it and put a top. There was some stash. Uh, she had included this ribbon here that's got um, yellow and um, orangey flowers. And then this piece here was from Jennifer's shop as well. So again, just made a tippin. That can be hide a secret note. And just tuck spot here with some journaling sheets, more of the paper. Lightly embellished, uh, mostly for journaling. Here's another pocket with some more journaling sheet spots in it. And the back side, the back cover has a glassine bag. And there's a die cut butterfly. I'm pretty sure I got that from Jamie Lola Tallulah, who is Poet Spice on the YT. And I know that's Cameo Shop and another piece of ephemera back there. And again, the signature ties shut and the back page alrighty so thanks for watching this is number two yellow next up will be orange thanks for watching I hope everybody's having a great Monday don't forget to visit Jennifer's shop creations by jinx on Etsy take care have a great day bye bye